welcome back to Thoughtful Gaming's Let's Play with the 8 the Shredder Speedrun. Last time we finished the game on the alcove, killing some dangerous crabs. I've made a post about the basic tactics, like this crosshair here, or how we defeated most of the monsters. This time we'll see if we can get further into the monastery. This tutorial yet on this difficulty grade also a dangerous place. Exciting place. Let's see what we have with us. Cloth pens, shurikens. That should prove useful. Let's give it to the bard. Moderate stamina. One of these to the bard too, and one of these to the gadgeteer. So they're both using their stamina to cast. Cure poison is best like in the general slots. Scroll of Haste, very powerful. Let's give it to the part 2, as he has relatively good um, artifacts. As well as his Cherry Bomb. Wow, our part is doing everything, it seems. And we have these Shurikens, too. Let's give them to the Monk. We can use the bow staff later. We can give the bow stuff. Oh, the samurai is already equipped with that. Nice. Alright, nobody needs cloth pants. Well, except for one who has no pants, but. We're good to go now. chest for now and kill these bugs. Ah more fodder for our blades. They're level two, so they're pretty weak. So we can try to practice our skills here. Well practicing our skills. It will be done. Means just waiting to because So, with highest hit points, with lowest hit points, like this guy, we will attack him Blocked. first. Blocked. We cannot attack him first, so we'll have to attack this guy. That's okay. It's only nine hit points. Now that was satisfying. Already finished. Mm, oh, they're pretty damaged. Already nearly dead. Let's just hit the start round to train the ranged weapons. That's okay, as yes, these guys won't be dangerous at all for us. So it's also a good tactic in Wizardry 8 as it's skill based. In easy encounters, try to use your not as good skills to win. Because they, then the skills will level up quickly. There will be a time when you can need like that fireball from your samurai, or when you only have the option to 
use ranged combat to eliminate the sorcerer uh, quickly. So let's look at that. We have killed Tunic. That's better than ropes. So let's give that to the samurai. That's better than a cloth shirt. So we can put that to rest. There's a bastard sword. Oh, that's that's nice. Give that to her, so in case she's in melee range, she has uh, something to attack. Let's give him the battle axe for close combat. Some arrows too. And a portion of moderate stamina. Let's give this to the samurai too. I see something. In our party, we have a short bow. Who will be good using the short bow? Let's go with the Valkyrie. She doesn't have a ranged weapon yet, and give some arrows to her too, so. the bow. Oh, and the slime is coming. Look there! Ah, this encounter will be a challenge! These are level 3 slimes, most... Probably uh, there's not just ah. slimes with ranged attacks, so we'll have to run to them, because we're so bad at, with ranged attacks, it's like not even funny. So that's well, our ranger might hit these guys, but With pleasure. he doesn't do that much damage yeah. to get tier 2, so yeah. we're just running into this guy. Kill him one by one. Ranger opponents aren't usually that dangerous to hit. So that's no problem that you have to run to them and miss. Miss some more. Nice. That was a good pleasure. I don't need to identify this. It's done by the skill ontology. As I know most of the opponents, I mean, especially in like raise mythology. Usually would raise mythology with a ranger. He has the skills to raise that, like intelligence and senses. They're pretty useful things to see, like the attack range, the hit points, even the resistance is later for magic resistance. Or their special abilities, like kill percentage, would be useful to see as you would want to kill the guy that has a Percent kill oh, percentage yeah. is attacks first. Down and I just keep getting better and better. Perfect. My status rises. And now nice. Tons of skill ups and bundle of quarrels, that's nice. It's for a crossbow. You, you won't get many of these guys in, in the first levels, so that's pretty lucky. Much better. Some strength and speed. Now, where would we rest in this vicinity? Like. Bar that's pretty wounded. So we go here. So enemies are blocked from the left by this table. They cannot reach us, so we'll only have enemies from the right, somehow, from the middle. And that's pretty okay for us. This 
battle would be as short and sweet as a summer rain. Now we were surprised, but it's not that bad as you see. Only two of these guys can reach us. It's pretty good. Ah! Swarming roaches. Which are difficult opponents. Oh, we can try again. A bard makes him sleep. And then eliminate the weaker ones. It will be done. Avec plaisir. With pleasure. You got it. No one knows what would have happened. Taken care of. But as things go now, they rarely have even uh. one attack. Uh. Party. What is that beast? There are already some opponents behind us again. Let's run Taken and care of. kill them. It's pretty good because they give so much XP with that difficulty to defeat. Not even fun. Usually won't be able to let them sleep. Is there not music right now? on this low level of the monastery as they are easy to kill. Because there's a wow, blocking boss. Much better. I am no this longer blocking afflicted. boss is like only viable for our party, our late game party at level 5 or 6. And as I won't reload, prefer preferably... I see something. I'm trying to kill him at level 6 because I won't I won't be able to deal with that party members looks there yet so good we need resurrection powder and we'll only get that if we well kill that boss and roam over the like, top level of this monastery Then we found feather dolls and cure poison stuff. Oh, let's give them to the monk. Some hunt. 
hungry creature has stripped the body to the bone, but the corpse seems to be Looks quite there. fresh. And we found a ring of protection, which gives us armor class, a scroll, a tattered note, some nice boots. Poor guy. Well, we'll take the spoils. Our bard doesn't even have boots, so he'll get the leather boots. Ring of protection. Give that to the samurai. So he's most vulnerable, usually. And a tattered note reads, I have failed. The tomb is locked and they caught me before I could find the key. To make matters worse, the damned Igardi only feed me once a day. At this rate I will starve to death in a matter of days. Tell the Templars that the weapons are still a threat to all the Texas. Okay, so this guy wrote the note, so all the Texas makes no sense yet. Until very late. You may it is locked. One of yes. these weapons is in the monastery. And it, it is indeed, but we will need like some one or two or even three hours to get it. Now you can see how you pick a lock in wizardry. Ah, essentially more try very often blades. to pick it, and it depends on your skill, but you cannot fail to pick the lock. So you could forever try it and then level up your skill and then uh, you well would have picked the lock but who With wants pleasure. to do that? No one. Well, that's a pretty easy encounter so we'll just hit the OK button and level up our range weapons. Cure poison. Cure poison is pretty useful later. We're out in the open, but at the start, like no one needs that. As the opponents don't have poison. So we'll just store it. And see what we can do with it. These are knock picks useful for picking tough locks. There, like behind this door, a pretty tough opponent. So, I think we will be able to kill them. Locked. So. Yes? and five hit points. Pretty tough guy. With pleasure. Let's try to make him sleep. Let him come closer. He has extended range, so that's a problem for our back line. Of course he can reach them too if we move close enough to make our melees able to hit them. Hit him. Sleep. That's unfortunate. So, we'll try to use brute force. Kill the crab. So far, we're doing quite alright. Samurai even has a lightning strike and hits three times. I'm really lucky there. So many hits. And we've beaten it unconscious. Nice. Ha! The better to battle our enemies! 
Schweizer items. Although it is pleasant to advance, true happiness comes only through meditation. Look there! I knew I was getting better at this. Splendid! I become even more deadly. Look there! Now let's close the door behind us. This limits the number of opponents that can come to us. I want to level up like in peace. And not in pieces. Doing our thing. Making killer machines. This battle will be as short and sweet as a summer rain. What a swarm of insects. Oh. Imagine you had all these cockroaches in your kitchen. Big cockroaches too that like bite you and make you suffer. With pleasure. Would you Party. Invite your local samurai. Nothing surpasses the thrill of the hunt. And to see you're better suited to the ranger. That seems. Let's kill them one by one. It will be done. Okay, I want to kill the one that doesn't sleep. You got it. Because well, with pleasure. Yeah. Taken care of. Sleeping one will be able to attack us. Nothing surpasses the skill of the hunt. Oh, let's train our range weapons. These guys seem harmless. Oh, how we need to do that. With pleasure. Let them come to you. Our oh, sight was blocked. So we waited for him to come to us. Well, let's try again. Can we rest? We can. Yes, we can. So we could go back here easily now. It's actually the start of the game. I've unlocked that, so just in case. Could go up here, and there's Gregor, the giant bug. And he's far too dangerous for us now. That time, that level. We're going to just go there and pick up some goodies lying around. Fresh meat sighted! fish down there. They're quite dangerous too. And I wonder what this thing on a jig is. And noticing that thing and if you press the button the whole bridge will come up and you won't be able to get back. Behold so a creature. That wouldn't be prudent. Well I did that once and I had to jump back and barely survive. Because otherwise, when you're up there, your way is basically blocked by the giant. I bug. see something. Pretty dangerous. Now, our first trapped chest. Yes? It has a booby trap. I, you know, I have a system to level up the locks and traps because you need to do that. 
to make it less tedious, I inspect every chest five times and then unlock it. If you come that far, you can see like the green bordered uh, things. Would be the sort of trap you have. Like this line means there's maybe something, so you could try to find something that fits all three of them, but usually the simpler ones are the best guess. So this might be poison darts. And it seems to be like we're inspecting more. Poison darts seems a good bet. Arm it. Great. Nice. And we have something in there. Wool whip. That's okay, useful. It's a like a ranged weapon. Ranged melee weapon. Potions of light healer, always good short bow, bastard sword. Yeah, at least nice to sell. We can to equip it, like the bullwhip can go to the ranger. You can see here, like it's on the skill mace and flail, which won't help us that much to be sure. So we'll just like let him shoot his arrows. The bastard sword. Try to compare it, that's 4 to 10 damage, so it's 2 to, to 7 damage, but it has much better to hit, much better initiative, which is very useful for the samurai. Initiative triggers the lightning strike. So we'll let that at the samurai. But we can give it to the bard. Minus 1 to hit isn't that bad. And he doesn't need good initiative, so let's do that. It's quite good strength too. Oh, and we can distribute potions of light heal. So everybody has one already, we'll give them to the summer. Finally, we're going to do more difficult combat. Take on the fish, the Tanjaika fish. They're swimming around here, so we're waiting for them here. Ah, more fodder for our blades. Hoping they won't like surround us. Make them With sleep. Pleasure. And then let's go. As you can see, like, all four of them will probably be able to attack us. That's bad for us. So we can only hope we survive this. Crab apples. But everyone fell asleep. With nice. pleasure. And now it's okay. With pleasure. So I can maneuver a bit, so I'll yeah. stay in range. <laughs> Killing sleeping opponents with double damage, so it's quite easy. And we killed the fierce ones. We were really lucky that our bard, like, just sent them to sleep instantly. Getting resurrection power, so if one of our party members dies, we can resurrect it. So notice I'm like moving very cautiously down there, so I don't get falling damage this way. So now 
got our prize, the resurrection powder. We eliminated dangerous opponents. Now we'll have to find like a safe edge here. Rest again for a bit until we're full health. End this session for today. So see you next time with Thoughtful Gaming's Shredder speedrun of Wizardry 8. Goodbye. See you.